Toucans live in the rainforests of South America. While their large, colorful beak makes them very recognizable to us, it's actually an adaptation that helps the toucan survive. The colors blend in with the light of the forest and keep them hidden. A toucan's beak can be many different colors, like brown, red, green, yellow, or even black. Let's draw one! To start our toucan, I'm using a black Sharpie or a black marker. You can also use a crayon. I'm going to begin by drawing the eye, so a circle, in the middle of my paper. From there, I'm going to draw an inner circle and color it in, leaving a little place for the highlight. Now I'm going to draw the beak, starting with two curved lines, and then I'm going to come out and over for that really big, long, beautiful beak. The back of the head, and then the rest of the body. Now, toucans have some very distinct markings on their faces, so let's draw those. I'm going to start by curving in towards the front of their face, and then I'm going to draw the back of their wing. Now, I need to draw where their beak opens, and then on the other side, I'm going to curve the opposite way around the eye. Now. I'm going to add some markings to the beak. This is the Toto Bee Toucan, which is the largest toucan, and it's the one we most recognize for the big orange beak. Around my toucan, I'm going to begin drawing a bunch of plants. You can draw the same leaves as me, or here are some other options. However you would like to fill the space around your toucan. I'm thinking big leaves that really make an impact. So take up lots of space. You could layer, so you could have your leaves going behind your toucan. Can't wait to see. Once my leaves fill my page, I'm just gonna add a little bit more detail, and then I will get started on coloring. Like I mentioned earlier, there are many different kinds of toucans, and each one's beak looks different. So I'm drawing the Toto Toucan, which is the largest one, most recognizable for its big orange beak. You might know it as the Fruit Loop Toucan, but I'm gonna put a picture of another very popular toucan called the Rainbow Toucan, or the Keel Build Toucan, and you can choose to do that style of toucan instead. It's up to you. If you wanna do the Rainbow Toucan, what colors do you see? How can you fit them in to the same toucan that we drew together? Now, if you're drawing the Toto toucan, you'll need yellow, 
to draw in the top of the beak. You'll also need orange and red because once I'm done adding the yellow, I'm gonna layer some orange along the very top of the beak as well as on the bottom of that top half before adding it to the bottom beak as well. Now I'll use the red crayon and I'm gonna layer the red over that orange on the bottom before adding a little bit up top, moving it up. And then I'll go over it again with the orange and just kind of deepen that orange a little bit around the beak so that middle part stays yellow. I'm also gonna use the orange around the eye, but I'll color the actual eye itself either a green or a blue. They have these beautiful colors in their eyes. I just love it. I'm leaving the front of my toucan white because that's the color markings that that particular toucan has. You can see the rainbow one is different. The final thing I'm doing is using the white crayon or if you have oil pastels, that would work really nicely to just add a little bit of design and detail to my wing. For the background, you're just gonna use a combination of markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever you have, and lots of greens to get big, bold leaves. I'm going to go really, really fast, and you'll see when I start coloring that I'm being careful to make sure that I stay in my lines and that I use a variety of colors. A variety means many different ones. So I'm trying to use as many greens as I have, as many markers and colored pastels. Like I said, you can mix and match because each one has a slightly different value to the color. So it'll look different even just with how hard or soft I press. And that will all contribute to giving you a real rich picture with lots of different colors. So you can see here, I'm gonna start on this leaf and I'm gonna real quickly fade out and fade in so you can see my finished leaves. They're all slightly different. For this picture, I'm going to leave the background white. If you would like, you can make it blue instead. There you have it, your toucan.